we talk about the creativity. Um, so, this slide show you how to translate the creativity into innovation. Okay. First, uh, innovation is the implementation of creative idea into some new device or process. Okay, so you need to turn your idea to a device, product, or process. Okay. And requires combined creativity with resources and expertise. Okay, so that's why uh, you need so many different um, background uh, members. Okay. And <coughs> okay, here uh, innovator, uh, inventors first. One ten year study found that in innovators typically okay. So, so you can check it yourself or try to learn from here. First, have uh, mastered the basic tool and operations of the field in which they invent. But they will have uh, not specialized solely on that field. Okay, so the key person, uh, you need to have a basic tool and uh, operations. Second, as cu are curious. So I always in encourage you to be curious about the uh, uh, problem in your, your in your life, okay? And the more interesting in problem and, uh, and solution, try to find a good problem, start from there. Third, question the assumptions made in previous work in the field, okay? So, question the assumptions, okay? Fourth, often have the sense that all knowledge is um, unified. They will seek global solutions rather than local solutions and they will be generalist financial. So try to be a generalist. Okay. <coughs> um, we always think about the specialty and the generalist. Okay. If you want to a, a creative guys, you just need to to find a good problem first. Okay, but uh, how to fix that? Not by yourself. You need to find a lot of experts. Okay, of course, your member to fix that, provide a solution. Okay, so <clears throat> basically, you are a generalist. You need to know. Uh, uh, I have this problem. I know who can resolve this problem. I know who can relate solve this problem. Not I resolve all problems by myself. No, let's call us generalist. Okay. <coughs> um, such individual may develop many new devices or process, but uh, commercialized few. Okay. So, if you are creative and uh, innovate some good devices or process. But it's uh, still a long way to commercialize your product, commercialize your idea to the market. It's still a long way, okay? <coughs> um, okay, uh, do you know the way? I'm not sure. Second way. Some of you know, some of you don't. I'm not sure. It shows you a textbook. Uh, this, this. This, this one. Mm, what's wrong? Okay. Can you see this? Have you ever see that? Okay, even in Taiwan, you sometimes you see this device is uh, rolling on the road. Okay. And uh, sometimes you don't need uh, to, you just have this one. Okay. This is an improved uh, reversion. Okay, so we are talking about this innovative product. Okay, um, here the inventor called the Dean Kamen. Okay, this is the founder of the segment, uh, Segway uh, Corporate. Okay, and uh, he in innovated in that devices. Okay, but uh, unfortunately, he died on the second <laughs> check, check it from the internet. Okay, he just just drive his her, his uh, second way. 
And then we kind of fall down to re river or bed pitch, pitch, pitch or, or, or something. Um, but but he died eventually. Okay, um, unfortunately, he died on he, his innovative product segue. Okay, you can check it from the internet. Okay, um, but we, we are talking about how can he to be creative and innovate a good stuff um, segue. Okay, um, describe as a uh, tireless and uh, eclectic. Okay, so. Uh, he innovator always put a lot of effort and work um, uh, put a lot of effort and uh, maybe money time uh, on his work okay so Harris and the uh, Cayman hold more than 150 US and foreign patent okay patent here okay uh, every technology you can apply a patent and uh, assemble some of the uh, technologies with devices you can have a good product Okay, so uh, he has more than 150 uh, patents. He received uh, numerous awards and uh, honorary degrees, but he never graduated from college. Okay, so um, college will help you to be creative, not necessary. Okay, um, to Cayman, uh, the solution was not to come up with a few answers to a known problem. But to instead reformulate, okay, keywords, reformulate the problem. Okay, for example, uh, segue. You see, okay, if you want to, you, you okay, uh, who are, he re, re, reformulate the problem. Because if you want to provide a, a, a tool for transportation for individual, okay. Uh, motorcycle or the mobile provide the answer already. Okay, so reformulate the problem. Okay, I have a two wheel devices idea, but uh, who who will use that? So let's uh, reformulate the problem. Okay, I have a good idea. I think why why do I need the two have a have a four wheel? For transportation, and or why I need to have two wheel, but one in, in front and one in the rear. How can how cannot I have a, a two wheel, parallel? Okay, okay, okay. So, challenge the assumption, previous assumption. Okay, and the reformulate the, the problem. Yes, I have a good idea for that. But uh, who will who will be my customers? Okay, so that is a key concept. I have a good idea. I have a creative idea. I want to be. I want to have a two wheel device who can transportation uh, for field transportation for people need. Okay, of course, change the previous assumption. Um, but uh, next question: uh, Who will use that? So I find the customers. Okay, in this logic, never go back to, go back to. Oh, I want to, everyone buy my segue. Can you get my point? Okay, so think it like this way. You will invent, uh, innovate products. <coughs> okay, and the second concept. Innovation by users. Okay, users have a deep understanding of their own needs and the motivation for to fulfill them. While manufacturing typically creates innovation to profit from their sale, user innovators often initially create a innovation purely for their own use. For example, laser sale boat. This a uh, uh, simple in uh, your textbook. There's a sailboat developed by Olympic sailors because the sailors they use the sailboat, sailboat. And the uh, intermediate tissue and adhesive based on the super glue and early snowballs. Okay, these three uh, cases are uh, shown on your textbook. Okay, okay, you can read the deeply uh, when you go uh, come back home, go back home. Um, so, uh, by users, very important. 
Okay, so you are users, right? And then you will, you have always have a complaint about the existing product or service, right? Okay, so here here is a is a key uh, key direction. Okay, uh, most of you ever work on a, in a company. Okay, if I I'm a general manager in your company and I want you to find the problem. Okay, who you will approach first? I'm your boss. You are creative guys, and your work is innovate a good product or service in my company. Okay, so the first question I will give you, or I will give you a mission. Okay, tell me what's the problem for our major products or service. Where, where you will will get the problems? Customer. Customer. customer, of course, always customer. You have uh, more than 1,000 customers, will you call one by one? No. No, okay, so. The target customer. Pardon? Target customer. Target customer, of course, again, okay. customer service. Customer service. Customer service. Customer service. Customer service. Customer service. Yes, so I will go to which department? Customer service. Exactly. Can you get my point? Yes. Okay. Don't think you are uh, so complicated. Okay. Just go to a customer service. Why? They always get a complaint. Always, right? Okay. So, um, but I must say, um, a lot of company. Uh, if, if, if your company is very creative and a company and your boss is very creative, yes, just go to a customer service. Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, this is very important. Customer service will help you understand the customer requirement and customer complaint about your product and service. Okay. This is a very practical problem you need to go direction to the customer service, okay? Because they have a user complaint always, right? Okay. Um, and also, uh, when we talk about the, I will give you more detail about this one. Uh, some users, we call them the lead user. Write down, lead user. You know, E-A-T, U-S-E-R. Okay, for example, athletes. We just talk about, about the suit, right? They are lead users. Why? Because if this suit is a very successful product and fulfill as its uh, requirement, they can detect the posture, improve their performance. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next you will see, oh, for example, I like jogging. Mm -hmm. I want to improve my performance. Okay, I see, wow, the boat. The, the bet is, do you know the, the boat from J Jamaica? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the fattest individual in the world, right? Running. Okay? What boat have, have this Ball. suit improve the breaking record performance, right? Oh, I want to have that one. Can you get my point? Okay, so bot is a data user for me. Okay, so data user is a very uh, important key concept. Okay, the data user to be that data user to be your primary target audience. That's very important. Why? Okay, um, did I mention the body? Yes, right? Do you play body? Okay, I'm talking about body. Not boring, body. <laughs> okay, uh, there are two books. Okay, the first is Cross the Chasm. Right down, you can check it on the internet. Okay, what I tell you is that uh, the good book and the introduce a solution for how to you find the data user, for example. Okay, uh, this, okay. 
The author, Jeffrey Moore, he used playboarding to show you how important of the data use and uh, how different when we market our innovative products from mass products, current products. Okay, um, ever play boring? Raise your hand. Okay, good. How many pins? Mm. Ten. Ten. Oh, good. Mm. Mm. You really play boring. Okay, one, two, four, three, two, one, right? Mm. And then you have a marble very big, right? Mm. Okay, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Have you ever played bowling with a strike? Even three strike, you will see a turkey, right? No? You are different. <laughs> Your body are different from me. Okay. How can you play a strike? Where your marble should strike? Which location? Uh, okay. Whoever, whoever played bowling. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, oh, okay, good. Do you have ever played a strike? Mm -hmm. Raise your hand. Okay, do you remember how can you play a strike? You will marble, which location you will marble need to hit on? One. One, one. one really? No. Middle. 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 Between, between, two. between. Two. What do you mean, middle? I mean, if you can hit the middle, strong enough, it will spread over and all. Show, show me 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, whatever, 10. Uh, <laughs> remember that. 2. Well, I think more probability of spreading over and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, more probability of spreading more if you just get 1. You hit the 1 and then you got a strike? Yeah. No, no, never. Then 7 and 10 will be left. So you have to hit 3 to 6, I guess. Which, what do you mean middle? Uh, like 3 to 6. Three, three or on, six? On the middle. Uh, and it will between the three or, and the six? six? Yeah, then it will have more. No. no. Like five. Same. I always get the one. Because if I hit one, okay, I, I'm, I'm I'm either you go for four or seven. Okay, I, I know. Okay, you play a strike, but then you don't know what happened. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to play a strike. Okay. okay. Okay, next time. Okay, next time. Okay, you can check it out. You need to hit the middle between one and the two or one and the three. Next time you can try. Okay. 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 So here give you a concept. Lead user. What I mean? When you play a marble to his piece, never think about all of them. But uh, Pin one and pin two between them. Pin one and pin two are are lead users. Why? When you hit this correct location, the pin two will hit four and five, and the four and the five will hit the seven, eight, nine, ten. Of course, you can say, no, I hit the right side, so between the one and three. But again, pin three will hit the five and six. We call it a chain reaction. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, here is a very important concept. How important about the lead user in new product or new service? You need to approach and catch the PTA, the data user. Okay, do I mention jobs? How can he sell new iPad so successfully? Because he hit the data user. Okay, the iPad PTA data user are Students like you in the university, or senior high school students in the United States. Why? Okay, take me for example. 
I I use iPhone. You can see that, right? And I so I also use the uh, AirPod. Okay, okay. How do I know iPhone is a good innovative product if I never use that, right? But I can see my boy. He has an iPhone, and uh, my girl has an iPad. AirPod, sorry, AirPod. Oh, when I see my boy and my girl, when they're, they're jogging with me, oh, daddy, I'm listening to very good music. I love, what did I say? Beyonce or something, whatever, okay? Um, oh, can I try that? Oh, that's really good. I like it. Okay, so, my boy and or my girl will influence me to buy that new product. Again, very expensive. If if I don't use from little user, my boy and the, my girl, I never buy that because I never try that. Okay, and uh, as you know, okay, some of you, okay, many you have a you have a kid, right? Are you are you save a lot of money for your your boy or girl? No. No, really? <laughs> no, really? She's okay. A I'm a student. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, I try trying to say, take me for example. Okay, I won't buy so expensive new products for myself, but for my girl, my boy, yes. You cannot resist, right? Mm. I mean, when you are born a father or mother. <laughs> okay, so I use this um, case or example to help you understand how important of the lead user to hit other customers. Okay, me, my wife were influenced by my boy. And uh, my friends, and uh, my wife's friends were influenced by me, or my wife. Yes. Chain reaction. Yes. Okay, but if you, you lack of, if you, your product lack of the little user, no, it cannot work out. Can you get my point? Yeah. Okay, okay, uh, that is from the, uh, across the chasm or the tornado, inside the tornado, that's the two books. Intr use the body to introduce the data user to readers. Okay, I, I, okay, I just use this case to show you how important it is about the data user. Okay, so you can pause it. Data user are secretaries. Did I mention before? No? Okay. Uh, of, this is another good example about the little user. Okay. Um, as you know, uh, your posit invented by Fry, the engineer in uh, 3M. I mentioned this before, right? But uh, I didn't mention to you, in the first three years, they never sell a posit to any customers. Why? They just follow the tradition way go to the street. Oh, do you want to use try my, my new product? Okay, and uh, maybe you can take it out and uh, nothing happen, okay. <laughs> okay, you don't buy it, okay. Um, so, after try and error, okay, try and error, they try to approach different customers and uh, nothing happen all the time, okay. And finally, they find a, sec uh, a job called a, called a sector, secretary. Okay, so secretary is a data user in the process of a posit to mass market. Okay, why? Okay, what's the first principle of innovation? Without customers' problems. Okay, so I have a solution to resolve a problem. Now, I need to know who 
whose problem is most important for, for, for his or her work, I can help resolve. Okay, so when you have a technology or innovation, I mean new product or new service, okay, you need to find the lead user to be your PTA. Okay, here is a very important concept I need to address. When you work at a company, of course, your company always has a product or service. You need to sell it to customers. Never, 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 what I say three times is very important, okay? Never tell your boss, oh, our technology, our product is so poor compared to competitors' products. <laughs> what happened? Okay, Next day, you are fired, okay? <laughs> okay. So, the key concept is that uh, find the uh, lead user, find the uh, primary target audience for the product. Okay, how can you find them? The first principle of innovation. Okay, okay, to whom your solution can fix, resolve their problem at work. Okay, uh, did I mention the touch panel before? Okay, did I mention, did I have you give you a homework? Okay, your product, uh, your company have a touch screen technology and also have a touch screen product. However, however, just like, not like this. Oh, you can smooth very uh, touch and uh, whatever, you can do a lot of things. Your products, you just can just touch here and touch there and uh, have some function. That's all, okay? Even cannot access the internet. Okay? You just can touch here and have a function A, touch here, have a function B, that's all, okay? Compared to other your competitors' products, your touch screen, very poor, right? Okay. Here is a, here is a mission in as your work. I'm your boss. Okay, Vincent, sell my touch screen and get me the order business. Again, okay. where or what kind of customer you need to approach to? Did I mention that before? Okay, this is your homework for this week. Okay, next time, show me your ability. Show me your ability. Find the PTA. Okay, of course I have answered. But again, never tell your boss no. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, this is a snowball industry. Okay, uh, first snow, do you snowball? Do you like ski? Okay, and then, then you know the snowball, right? Okay, first snowball are uh, not in, uh, developed by sports equipment and Later they were in Mongolia. Do you ski in Mongolia? Yes, but they're not in Indonesia, no. Thailand, no. Okay, okay, uh, so. I know you know snowball, so for Primary. Indonesia now, right? Okay. Mm. Okay. Is it cool? <laughs> okay. Um, so, later they developed by Indonesia seeking new ways of gliding over snow. Tom Sims made his first ski board in wooden shop class. A Sherman Poppin made a snowboard as a toy. Okay, here. Right down toy. Okay, toy, in, in the innovation field, we have a special feeling about the toy, okay? Okay, um, so write down, toy. Don't crush me, okay? Just write down, okay? Um, because 
are a toy have a, a lot of meaning for innovation. Okay, I, I will say another interesting story later. Okay, so write down toy. Okay, um, a story of his daughter later held a snowboarding contest, and uh, Jack Burton added the rubber step trap to the snowboard to act as a bindings. By 2014, uh, there are approximately 7.3 million snowboarders in the United States. Okay, so here, start from a toy to a new product. Okay, and the more and the more customer here, and the more and the more company produce the snowboard. So it it, it is forming a, a industry. All the same for every product. Okay, start from the toy. And later, more customer buy the toy. And uh, because of profit, so more company produce the, the, the product. Okay, of course, there were a lot of improve, improvement and the uh, industry. Okay, again, uh, here, uh, whoever uh, take the economic class, good, okay, what's the industry, the definition? Did I ask this question before? Yeah, I think you mean like the industry? Yes. An uh, entity which... Can entity? Be, yeah, yeah. Entity which doesn't produce any product. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, the, the, the company, the old company or the entity uh, produce the similar or the same product or service. We call that the industry, right? This is the definition from economic textbook, right? Okay, so I'm just trying to link them together. Okay, so uh, uh, in the start, okay, a creative idea for, for his, her, his daughter, for example, right? To have a toy for them, for her. And later, uh, a lot of customers and a lot of companies build a similar or the same product or service. So it forms an industry. Okay, okay, this is a key concept. Okay, um, a toy. Um, do you know the, again, Apple? I, I like to use the Apple to explain a lot of things in the innovation. Uh, of course, you know, uh, do, do you know the founder of the Apple? Steve Jobs. Steve Wozniak. Good. Steve Wozniak. Okay. And do you know, before they, they uh, start, start the Apple, um, they have a work as a different companies. Uh, Wozniak worked at uh, Hewlett Packard, and uh, Jobs worked at uh, Tire, another uh, companies. 